My name is Etienne Hugel, same name as the wine from Alsace, France. Riesling is the quintessence of grapes in Alsace. I'm here in Macau, part of this Riesling Revolution Tour organized by Summergate with those two crazy vintners, Ernie Lozen and Peter Berry. My name is Ernst Lozen, I'm from the Dr. Lozen estate. Um, I'm from Germany and I'm a Riesling producer. I'm Peter Barry and uh, I'm a winemaker from Clare. My father is Jim Barry, who's a very famous Australian winemaker. And I'm the second generation winemaker and uh, Clare Valley, where I was born and make wine, is the biggest region in Australia for growing Riesling. We make a very fresh style, very dry and it's perfect for the climate in Macau. The main difference between our wines, the Hügel Alsace wine with German wines, is that ours are dry. They come from, you know, vineyards that have been cultivated for 2,000 years. And compared to Australian Riesling, actually, there's more similarity of style in Clare Valley or Australian Riesling than there is with German Riesling. So it's not a matter of location. It's a matter of winemaking philosophy. In Alsace, we produce wine with the French way of thinking that wine pairs well with food. Wine is such a social, uh, a social thing. It's very good for you, but it also creates conversation. And you can sit down and discuss a, a bottle of wine from somewhere in the world, be it Germany or France or Australia, and they all taste different, and that makes for a great party with your friends. Our wines might be a little bit different, you know, because they are a little bit lighter in style. They are only 7.5, 8% alcohol. These tastings have been such a success. People drank something which they never had before, and then they suddenly said, oh, that's great, that's lovely, you know, I love it. They are not white wines, they are lightly golden wine. They are wines that are not sad wines, they are happy wines. They bring happiness to the people that consume them. If somebody from somewhere else in the world makes a lovely glass of Riesling, you toast them and encourage them. It's not a competition, it's about people just enjoying high quality wine. So uh, I'm very lucky to, this week to be travelling with a, a German friend of 30 years and a French friend of 31 years. Our families have been friends for that long and we're competitors on the world stage but we're friends when we sit down and have dinner together and that's a beautiful thing about wine.